Hi friends, in this video let us understand IgM structure and function within 3 to 5 minutes. IgM as you see is the largest immunoglobulin. The structure is 5H2L2 units that means 5 monomeric units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that is joined by a joining chain. These monomeric units are bonded by disulfide bond. Therefore it is a pentamer and it is a macroglobulin or largest immunoglobulin. Let us zoom in this monomer to understand the structure better. Each monomer consists of two heavy chain and two light chain that is joined by disulfide bond. This red colored is the disulfide bond and this is the heavy chain and this is the light chain. The upper part is called as the FAB fragment as it has antigen binding site. So each monomer has two antigen binding site. The lower part is called as the FC region, which is the constant region. This upper part has highly hypervariable region that is responsible for specificity of this immunoglobulin. Heavy chain is micro, that's why it is called as IgM. As it is made, it's a pentamer, it has 10 antigen binding site that makes it the most effective immunoglobulin. Molecular weight is approximately 900,000 Dalton, accounts nearly 6% in serum. It cannot cross placenta. The only antibody that can cross placenta is IgG. It can fix complement, that means, so this is the IgM that binds to a pathogen, a bacterial surface. So this region, this FC region can interact with complement proteins. Complement proteins are set of serum proteins that acts like a cascade one after another and finally causing the destruction of the infected cell either by phagocytosis or by the formation of membrane attacking complex ultimately causing the destruction of that infected cell. So this FC region of this IgM can interact with C1Q which is the first protein, complement protein in the cascade. So it can interact with C1Q and can further activate the complement causing the destruction of the infected cell. The other functions include it is a predominant antibody in primary immune response along with IgG. So as you see, you can see the first antibody that is produced as a result of immune response is IgM as it is a pentamer with 10 antigen binding site making it the most effective one. Then this, during the secondary immune response the IgM concentration decreases and the IgG concentration increases. So IgM is the predominant antibody in primary immune response. Then it is involved in neutralization of toxins released by bacteria and other pathogens. Agglutination, it causes clumping of pathogens, causing the clearance from the system by phagocytes. As we discussed, it activates complement proteins also. One more function is the monomer of this IgM acts as B cell receptor. So this is a B cell, mature B cell receptor is often the monomeric IgM and also IgD also acts as B cell receptor. IgM mediates type 2 hypersensitivity. Hope you understand the structure and function of IgM. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing this channel. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsfurry.com.